So I see lots of people doing airsoft stuff on YouTube and uh, had a commenter mention something to me. I went to his channel. He had some YouTube videos. Uh, what up, man? You know who you are. Uh, thought I'd cover the stuff that I have because in a past life, I guess you could say, before I joined the military and everything else and did it for real, I was big into airsoft and loved it. Still a blast. Really, really good time. Um, I'd kind of like to get back into it, but I just don't have time for that shit anymore. But I still have my guns and uh, thought I'd show them off a little bit. Because I use a T3i that has the worst low light performance, basically if you're not staring at the sun, it doesn't know what the hell is going on, uh, the lighting may look a little weird, and I apologize. But anyway, my main gun, first gun I ever bought was a, uh, I believe it originally started life as a ICS, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really remember. Uh, MP5. But it is... Um, not really anything left of that anymore. <laughs> it's been completely rebuilt, and it's really dusty and nasty. Ugh. Um, I ugh, completely disassembled it, um, rebuilt the gearbox completely, redid the uh, you know did the type board barrel and all that stuff, redid all the wiring. Um, the wiring was completely redone with thicker stuff, and it has like bullet connectors and shit in it because I was running. LiPo batteries. Yeah, I was running LiPo batteries since before it was cool. The, um, let me see, little charger, uh, my big ass magazine. This thing's the shit. High cap for days. Completely rebuilt gearbox, tight bore barrel, um, redone wiring, MOSFET computer controlled firing system. Uh, basically, you name it, it's been done. Uh, that thing's an animal. Cheapo red dot on it. Uh, Knight's armament rail interface I think and this is the actual bipod that I carried on my M16 in Afghanistan that's a fun little fact for you right but anyway I digress my sidearm of choice KWA Mark II PTP this thing's badass um, super accurate especially for a pistol I was amazed uh, gas blowback obviously this thing's killer love it really really good gun I was shooting rats in my garage in 29 Palms when I was in the Marine Corps, though, and it exploded, basically. The bushing, the little thing that holds the... Damn it, box. Work with me here. There we go. The little bushing thing here that holds all the guts in the gun broke. It sheared clean off. This part right here, like right under the barrel, it just sheared off, and the, the recoil spring and everything just shot out of the gun. And uh, I had to buy new parts for it, but got it back. Uh, got it back together. Oh, here you can see I saved it. <laughs> so I can focus, focus you fuck. But yeah, you can see it sheared clean the hell off. It's crazy. Awesome gun though. Love it. Still works. And the uh, the coup de gras. This one I actually never used in a match. Um, I bought it because it was awesome, and it is awesome. This is a gas blowback MP7 that actually recoils a lot with styrofoam stuff on it. <laughs> uh, actually recoils quite a bit, but freaking awesome gun, man. Uh, I got this kind of nearing my end in the Marine Corps, and by then I, I was moving and you know doing all that bullshit, so wasn't really playing a whole lot of airsoft, so it never got used. Um, as you can see, I have the original boxes. Uh, the original receipt is under both of those. Um, I really should sell these, uh, the pistol and the MP7, because I don't use them anymore. They're like new, and uh, somebody could use them. Maybe I'll use this video. I'll put it on Craigslist, and people can see. So if you if you see this, then that's why. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, those are my guns. I've had many others over the years, but those are the ones that. I use the most. Well, except for that one. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for checking them out. Sorry for the kind of janky video. Like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Yeah, bye.